Recording should be happened a little bit differently, but anyway, like not everything is goes as a plan, so it's okay. Uh, on this video, I want to share with you guys my four favorite stationery shops that you should visit. We talk with the workers and the owners of the places and tell a little bit of the story for each place. So, enjoy the video. The first concept store is the concept gallery called Stenbergia. It's a very, very nice uh, concept shop that was starting as a concept gallery. Photographic gallery. The photos you see are his own. He mm -hmm. took all of them during like about 20 years of um, traveling in Asia. Oh. After he started the gallery, he started to add books and magazines. Mm -hmm. And after books and magazines, he went to objects that he couldn't find in Italy at that moment. Stationery, has he really liked stationery mm -hmm. a lot? And then he added the tea, like inside those blue boxes, we have teas that we sell by the weight. But then obviously always objects, objects that are mainly from Japan, but also mm -hmm. Asia, but also Europe. This concept store is really has like at the base of its concept on one side, the Asia, but on the other side, really the personality of Marco. I do you have your favorite place, or maybe some, something special that you just like to look mm. at every day. Well, lately, I'm in love with the the goats and the sheep. <laughs> it's like okay. sometimes I go caravan, so you know really nice. I would love to have one in my home. <laughs> The second place called Manila and this is the place that's opened by the interior designer from Latvia. She's the owner and also we have a nice little talk about the concept of the store itself and here you can find lots of very nice pieces that have a very pastel, very gentle touch. The third place, it's called Fratelli Bonvini. And can you imagine that there was open actually in 1909? Many annual 
also the like other things that are popping in my mind. Generally, that now uh, they also send me uh, for at surrounding this shop that the, I don't know how to say and the. Uh, this is so sell there. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then now uh, a group of friends decided to um, restore old furniture oh. and try to maintain as they are in the region. We published this book mm -hmm. and the book collected all the uh, posters mm -hmm. um, until uh, the end of last year. The attempt is to uh, describe the city of Milan and how the city is changing nowadays. include also the gallery and the restaurant that is nearby. All of them are united by the one concept. It's a concept store mm -hmm. and we have brands from Japan and things all Japanese and it's all connected to the restaurant and the exhibition. Yeah. If you like here, then it's you. Yeah. Here you can see the stationery that one of my favorite one is the Travelers and Midori. I just can't feel like I'm ready. <laughs> That's cute! The more I know you, the more you'll become the white princess from the Disneyland. <laughs> Why is the princess? It's <laughs> very nice of you. Mm. Look at 